so we got the soldering. Uh, apparently, you have to uh, do this yourself. I guess the manufacturer is too chintzy to actually prep it for you. So you get a solder and iron and go around. Let me get over there. And you can just get a hot iron, poke the holes. This is where the screws are gonna attach around the frame. Can you get it on there? <clears throat> okay, all right, got it. Okay, so I just used uh, some screws I had laying around that fit the diameter of the holes. Uh, which is the remnants of the rivet after the head's removed. Because you can't see after, I just make a little mark so I know where the holes are. Just, just I think it helps. Get you in the general proximity. It just gets me in the area so we know what we, where we are. That one's kind of hard to see. Okay, so after you mark it, you got your little ring ring gutter down. Get your your metal bar, and I start in the middle. Okay, you start in the middle, and you know with the roll bar is out, it's uh. You got enough, enough room. I tried it first with the roll bars in. It's like, no, there's no way. It's, it's impossible. You can't even function unless you're like, you know, one foot tall. And then I got a gun to help. So then after you get it all on, then the, this uh, just pushes down into the channel. That's the run, rain gutter. The rain gutter, yeah. This keeps, you know, water gets in. Direction to the hole. It pushes it around the edges and, and exits. Plenty of water. Okay, so then we move to the, the front uh, bar. Uh, the kit comes with some of this 3M uh, double stick tape. So this was on there originally. So basically just put a piece on just below the edge there, and then you can pull the top over and reattach those screws. And then you're gonna have that, uh, remember we put the, took the metal bar off. So if you were able to get the handle off, then the plastic piece will be off. If you couldn't get the handle off like me, then you're gonna have to uh, maneuver the metal trim piece which goes on top of this piece uh, you know you'll have to maneuver that in to place again like uh, you know just the opposite of how you removed it so um, just put those pieces in there tighten it up and you're good to go so we'll just slide the you know the cable back in and then it's kind of tricky but I use a pair of uh, vice grips and then I just get it on the back side here. Squeeze like so. And then basically you, you've pinched it so the cable can't fall out. All right, so this is the other end of the cable. So just get it there and then you have your Torx. You just wanna try to get it started, get a turn in and then get your socket. And then just make sure the spring's down. As you can see, that's the hook is on one side of the spring, so just make it sure it's flush with the frame of you know the top. Okay, cinch it down, and now we'll move on to the next. Is that about right? Yeah, it's about right there. So we'll just okay. Wow, look at that, guys. We got we got lucky. That's a uh... Well, that's pretty cool. Basically, inside the kit, they gave us a little uh, vinyl cement, so I'm just going to kind of do it as we go since there's no real easy way to do it. So I just want to put a little inside here. 
to get some adhesion. Kind of go to the next hole. Okay, so then we get our rivet. Find a hole. Get the gun on. Okay. Okay, now we got it in there. So now we're just going to take a peek again. We know the hole is about right there. Push down. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to get onto the third hole. Make sure your top is away, otherwise, you'll drill through the back side. And that would be terrible. Try to get your rivet through. Get it into the car frame. Okay. Okay, we're flush. Okay, all right, well, one side done. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you put it in a hole that accessible. There, I mean, you gotta get it like the, the top at the perfect angle so this bar is not blocking you. Okay, so here's the, the shims that uh, we talked about when we were taking it off. So hopefully you laid them in okay. a place where you know what side they came off in and what position, one, two, or three. Uh, so basically you're just going to put them back in the same way you took them out. So sometimes depending on you know what it takes to seal the uh, weather stripping against the window, you might have one sh or two shims in the bottom, one or two at the top, or even none at the bottom or the top. So just how you take them off, put them back on, and then you're just going to reattach all the rubber weather stripping. It just pushes onto that channel. Uh, so just don't forget that. I don't think I recorded it. Okay, now I just uh, I open up the top back up all the way and put in the final screws on the uh, front plastic. So it's just easier with the top all the way open. Um, and then you can confirm that uh, you know everything's tight, everything is secure. And then you can, you know, just double check that uh, weather stripping along uh, the trim of the top. So we're going to just uh, throw the roll bars back in. It doesn't matter which way they go. I don't think it looks like it's both the same. So slide it in the rubber grooves. And then there's, uh, you just pull these back out of the way. You can see I basically just give it a little wiggle and once you get it in there tap it down until you get lined up and throw in your allen And just tuck it all back in. So remember this one, we didn't take, we didn't take this all the way off, we just kind of lifted it up. And so this stuff just kind of goes underneath. You just line up like here, you have your little tabs here, here, 
line up with those holes and there's one over here. It's kind of tricky. They just slide down. There's not really any way to grip them, so. Any little seatbelt thing snaps back in place. The buckle goes there, 17 millimeter. This thing, just get it back straight. Take a little slack out of the seat belt. I think it was already kind of has a little crack in it. Okay, all right. Because uh, it's got some clips at the the top, we got to put uh, the top in first, which is kind of tricky. Okay, I think we just get it like that. Get the top in. Let's put uh, four screws for no reason. The speaker cover just snaps in. And for those of you who don't know, you know, this is the you know manual trunk release in case. Your little switch in the center ever goes bad, you pull that, and that's just held on by the key. So you use the key to uh, open this. Okay, and this cover is broken. That cover is missing when we got the car. So okay, so the factory had uh, a little bit of adhesive. Um, I, I already put one on. I mean, it's uh, it's so tight. I mean, I, I don't know what the point of the adhesive is. Um, but basically, what I did was uh, I lined up the hole on the side with a little punch tool. That way, you can you have a little hole. You see where you're starting, and then there's a hole here on the piece of plastic. So you want to try to line those up. So. What I did is I kind of just got the material pulled tight over and then you just got to like shove it up and then as you go along you just start at the back of the car and you kind of just wiggle it forward and it tries to eat your hand and that way you're like pulling the material tight as you go. Like I said, I mean, you could put some adhesive if you feel like it, but honestly, it's not going anywhere at all. And if you've got it lined up, then your hole on this side will hopefully be there. But like, as you can see, this rail was one of the ones that, that broke. You have the piece of plastic right here, and then you know, the screw is gonna go right there. So basically, you have four of these little plastic things, just like trim pieces. I think the factory top had a, another, a third flap. This, you know, aftermarket top doesn't have a flap. So you're just simply just putting the, uh, the plastic back on. And the same thing um, with the, you know, the very back piece. So just put those both on and then uh, We'll put the screws in. Okay guys, so we're uh, finishing up the TT uh, convertible top and some of you guys might have the problem with the switch where it shows on the dash, you know, that it's uh, open. And so uh, we're going to, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little trick for uh, the, the switch here on the outside. 
So basically, you know, when you close the top, the little uh, mechanism, the arm, pushes this over, and that's the switch that you're seeing on the dash. A lot of guys say that you can just, you know, push it over and, you know, bend it a little bit, but it uh, it's only seems like a temporary fix. So what I want to do is uh, basically cut out a little piece of plastic, just like a, from an old bumper cover, and what I want to do is just uh, silicone it uh, right on uh, the edge of there. So basically, I just want to grab it. That's it. Let that dry for an hour or so, and then when that arm presses against there, then it's going to take up that slack that uh, that happens from the switch getting old over time. All right, guys, if you made it this far, then obviously uh, kudos to you for uh, a job well done. Tops, uh, tops done, and uh, everything looks good. It's working good, sealing good. Yeah, so it came out nice. This one has the integrated uh, window, uh, so it's never gonna fail like uh, the factory one. So, like I said, fit and finish wise, I think it's pretty sweet. Looking good. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, hope the tutorial was useful for you. Um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, and catch you on the next one.